Happy birthday, Coach. Oh, Happy birthday, you, Coach, 1-1 draw with Georgia, opening SEC play. What are your general thoughts on the ballgame tonight? Uh, I don't know. Mixed feelings, right? I guess that's what a, what a tie does, right? Um, you know, not overly excited because I want to win, but at the same time, not uh, too discouraged because we didn't lose. So it was, um, you know, it is what it is. I, um, yeah, I thought there were some good moments. I thought the second half, uh, especially, we looked more dangerous. Um, you know, first half we may have had, you know, more spells of possession or something like that, but we weren't we weren't dangerous. And so, uh, kind of challenged the group at halftime to uh, to take more risk and be more courageous and, and make things happen. And, and we did that, you know, to, to an extent. And uh, you saw a couple more a uh, couple more chances there in the second half. But uh, but you know, we're we're still trying to figure out who we are. You know, um, last year, um, you know, last year's team, you know, the, was a team that had played together for the entire 21 season, the entire 22 season. And uh, um, you know, combinations of players and, and, and familiarity with each other. Um, you know, here we're we're nine games into uh, to a season. You know, we're still tinkering with uh, with lineup, um, and uh, we're starting to to learn. You know, who who can play, who can't, who can play well together. Um, and uh, you know, I'm uh, I'm overall I'm, I'm pleased with with where we're at. I don't think we're playing our best soccer yet. We're undefeated. <laughs> you know, results against. You know, top 25 teams, you know, a win over Memphis, you know, draws against uh, North Carolina and, and Georgia. So, you know, all that being said, not playing our best soccer, but still getting results and, uh, and still trying to figure out who we, who we are as a group. So, um, you know, I'm ex extremely excited about that. Coach, a hallmark of last year's team was the early goals. Your team got one of those tonight. Talk about how important that is and, and how that kind of changes the game. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot nicer getting those early goals. and. And, and goals in the middle and goals late too. <laughs> you want to, <laughs> you know, but uh, but no, a, a good, a great start from us. Good heads up play. I don't know, was it Jessica maybe that put it over the top or Felicia or someone? It was Felicia. It was Felicia, right? Got on the ball and, and put one behind. So great, uh, great awareness, um, you know, by by her and and, and took advantage of uh, of uh, a little bit of confusion on their part. So uh, a great goal, great start to the game, um, you know, and uh, you know, but but we knew Georgia. I mean, they're. <laughs> They're a top 25 for a reason, right? They're 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 a good team, and uh, and you know credit them for battling back into the game. Uh, they had a couple uh, couple moments. They had uh, you know one scare in the second half where Corley, I mean sorry, um, Dylan, came up huge. I mean what a what a brave save on her part. She uh, she came out and smothered that breakaway, and uh, and then we did enough to um, you know to create a, cu a couple good looks. You know Nadia had the one inside the box that she uh, hit out to the near post, and uh, I guess in the first half he had one that uh, that hit the crossbar. He had um, you know the uh, the header that the GP missed late in the game, so we created a, a few good opportunities and, and gave ourselves a chance to win, but uh, but just didn't fall on the night. Coach, you just said um, the team's not fully playing up to its potential. You know, with those four draws where you were un unable to come away with a win. Um, any particular adjustments you're looking to make going forward to try and close out games a little bit? Yeah, I I would say um, adjustments. Just trying to find different personnel that, that work together like I said you know we, we kind of figured it out um, you know last year we had uh, we had a group that was like I said you know very familiar with each other a group that had played together for the entire 21 season and then rolled right into the 22 season um, and now we've got uh, a bunch of new faces you know we've, we've inserted a half of a, of a new lineup in here um, and uh, you know we've we've got potential we've got just as much talent but we're uh, we're still trying to figure out who we are so I uh, I leave this game you know like I said you know, it's discouraging because we want the result but at the same time, it's exciting knowing that, gosh, we're not even playing our best soccer, and yet we're a top 10 team in the country. Um, you know, RPI, uh, you know, 10, uh, ranking is seven, um, nine games in, no losses. Um, you know, certainly a, a lot to be a lot to be excited about. I'm, I'm sure there's 350 teams in uh, Division One soccer that would trade places with us in a heartbeat. So, um, you know, we've kind of become a, a victim of our own success, much like Bama football, right? Where, um, and not by any means, like putting us in that category, but you know, you have a season like you did last year, and now the expectation is, oh my God, why aren't you winning every game? Why aren't you? It's like, look, because winning is hard, right? I mean, Georgia's trying to win this game as well. It's a, it's a good team. It's an SEC game. It's. Uh, um, you know, but uh, but again, I, I leave excited knowing that uh, that there's more in us, um, and uh, um, and we're still a pretty damn good team right now. Hey, coach, um, it was a nice Thursday crowd here tonight. Yeah. Um, how does it feel knowing um, that you can you can pack out the stands, and also how does that help? Um, get your girls you know that extra boost that extra motivation and for as far as pacing yeah i mean i i can't i can't thank this crowd enough right i mean uh the, the, the student body the community you know tuscaloosa has i mean you know i guess it started kind of the beginning of last year and it's just carried over to this year and um you know i'm so so 
so much fun to, to, to look across the field and see uh, see a packed crowd and uh, I know it means the world to the girls um, you know they uh, you know gives them an extra little boost and um, um, you know certainly want to want to reward these fans with, with getting some results but hopefully they understand that you know it's not from a lack of, of competing I mean, we fight hard we battle hard you know and uh, um, you know I, I think we, we keep keep doing that um, I think we're gonna we're gonna win a lot of games this year and, and go far As y'all go into next game, how do y'all hope to improve more on like getting shots in the goal as you travel with Mercer? Yeah, you know, um, it's uh, you know, for us, you know, going into to the Mercer game, you know, first of all, we, we understand that it's a, it's a good group as well, right? I think they're undefeated in nine games. They're uh, five wins and, and four draws, just like uh, just like us. And um, you know, we're I think the challenge, the biggest challenge for us is uh, is going to be not to not to have a letdown. Right? This is kind of a, a trap game, if you will. You know, going from North Carolina to Georgia, and now on the road on a Sunday afternoon to Mercer before we go to Arkansas. You know, it can be a, a tricky game. So my challenge to the group um, is we need to we need to take Mercer serious and, and know that this is uh, this is an important game. And uh, if our mindset's right, and then we give ourselves a, a chance to to win. And uh, from there, I would say the biggest thing I would like to see is just. You know, more courage you know I think it looks too tentative at times you know someone not wanting to make a mistake I would much rather us go 1v1 you know try to whip it across try to get a shot off then to be tentative and, and pull balls back and, and, and kind of rely on, on someone else I think you know I'd like to see more of us you know take ownership and uh, and, and try to make plays and if uh, if if they fail so be it who cares you know but uh, I'd rather that than uh, than not wanting uh, you know to, to take on the responsibility Coach, um, George was called off sides nine times today. Is that? that any? <laughs> was there any kind of adjustment you guys made? Did you guys tell your players, "Hey, watch, try to draw off sides"? No, I mean there? similar to the Carolina game. I mean we play a high aggressive line, and it's not an offside trap or anything like that. But you know, I think a, a lot of college teams, you know, drop out. They're so quick to, to concede. And and to be fair, we've we've done a lot of that as well. But we've. You know, we've we've talked to our backs about you know being more aggressive and trusting and trying to squeeze the space and I tell you our back line is, is done an awesome awesome job and uh, you know again you know I look at you know some of the, the positives I know it's easy to focus on the negative you're not scoring goals you're not winning but it's like well shoot we ain't losing either right and we ain't conceding goals and um, you know if, if 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 and when we we figure out uh, um, you know how to click and generate a few more goals um, you know we're, we're gonna win a lot of games Coach, uh, Gianna Paul really effective in this first half of this game with the goal and the attempted shots. How do you look to get her the ball a little bit more going forward? Yeah, Gianna's, uh, Gianna's been, been incredible, right? And we, uh, we kind of knew that from last year. And, uh, and now, um, you know, she's carrying a little bit, uh, a little bit more of the load. Um, and, uh, and, and now she's you know, probably a little bit more visible. People know her a bit more. People know her tendencies a, a bit more. So um, you know, a, little bit, uh, a little bit harder for her, but still she's managed, I think, six goals now. On the season, yes. six goals in nine games is, is pretty dang good, um, you know. But uh, um, you know, credit uh, you know service, right? We're getting some some good balls to her, and um, you know, I uh, um, you know, I think uh, think she's done done an awesome job. But I think we got to keep uh, um, you know make sure that uh, that we provide her and and uh, and I don't know if I want to say a little more help, but I think we got to have a little more balance. To our attack, right? It, uh, we don't want to just be a one-trick pony where, you know, our, our only way of generating goals is balls over the top to, to Gianna. You know, as teams drop off and as teams, you know, kind of double and triple her team, her. Um, that's where I want the courage of other players to to, to step in and, and try to make make some plays and make things make things happen. Right. Any big birthday plans? Um, yeah. <laughs> 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 I wish I had something exciting. Just go home and uh, get ready for Mercer. Yeah. So I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Coach. Yeah, appreciate you.